question number 26 for an n channel mosfet if condensation parameter is given it is not condensation it is conduction parameter please try to correct the question so if conduction parameter it is denoted with the letter kn k suffix n is 0 0.249 milliampere per volt square gate to source voltage vqs or some people will denote it as vgs also if you want you can make it as vgs whatever okay i'll making it as vgs okay that is convention okay is 2 vtn means 2 threshold n indicates n channel 2 times the threshold value of n channel mosfet where vtn is given as 0 0.75 then what will be the current he mean to say the current means the drain current see don't get confused and don't be panicked by seeing this question this question is very very simple and I'm telling you in gate every year a question from this model is damn sure you can check the previous year papers so every year a question on MOSFET based on current equation definitely is asking question last year he asked a question in 2007 based on whether his region of operation is saturation or linear he's asking such type of questions even the current equations are useful to find those region of operation every time a question is framed based on this so in every exam IES, ISRO, GATE, BSNL everything the questions based on drain equations are very very important fine before going to that so let us see the solution so try to uh, listen to this video for more five minutes so that you will know you will come to know an important concept which can be used in every exam okay it's like one for all short fine now let us see this so it let us write the given data what he want to say so first of all I'm writing VGS voltage gate to source voltage is given 2 VTN VTN is 0 0.75 so I'm substituting 0 0.75 so I'm getting VGS as 1.5 then VTN is given as 0 0.75 two things I have noted down two given datas and what else is given KN is given okay so let me write KN also so KN is given as 0 0.249 milli milli I'm converting into normal thing so 10 power minus 3 I'm replacing with milli so ampere per volt square this is KN given fine now <coughs> based on this you need to know where which region of operation it is operating first of all you need to find that based on that you need to apply appropriate current equation okay so what I'm saying is so before solving this question let us see the extension first okay after that you can solve this question within one minute fine see note down this extension or take the screenshot at any cost I'm stressing this point note down this extension or take the screenshot at any cost different books are giving some wrong formulas and wrong assumptions they are making so try to remember this you may feel like this is very 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 difficult but it is not at all difficult I'll give you some shortcut technique by which you can remember all the formulas in an easy manner fine believe me definitely I'll give some technique fine so don't worry about all this first check whether the given question is n channel MOSFET or p channel MOSFET okay fine our question is n channel MOSFET okay choose this block forget about this block okay don't remember p channel at all because 99 percent they will not give in the exam if they give also i'll tell you a shortcut method just you need to remember only three formulas that's it so don't wait panic don't worry at all so first of all n channel n channel mosfet suppose if it is operating in cutoff region suppose assume that it is operating in cutoff then how you will come to know you may ask sir how can i know it is operating in cutoff there is a simple technique he will give vgs value he will give VTN value just now you have seen he has given VGS and VTN if suppose VGS is less than VTN then conclude that it is in cutoff for sure it is in cutoff then in that case the current will be zero cutoff cutoff means ideally the current is zero okay the current is zero if VGS is less than VTN conclude that drain current is zero done I think it is not a uh, rocket science to remember it is very very simple right so second one second mode is called linear or triode mode in linear or triode mode the condition is exactly the opposite of previous one the first condition is vgs for sure it should be greater than or equal to vtn if it is less than you will conclude it as cut off yes or no so first condition it should obey that vgs must be greater than or equal to vtn and in addition to that it should also obey that vds drain to source voltage must be less than vgs minus vtn try to memorize these conditions at any cost try to memorize because he many times in exam is directly asking the questions based on this now 
if it is operating in linear mode linear region then this conditions will valid or if these conditions are getting valid then it will operate in linear region vice versa okay so you can check this and you can make that you can check that and you can make anything is correct now if it is operating in linear mode or these conditions are satisfied then in such case the current equation will be ids equal to sorry yeah ids equal to mu n cox means uh, capacitance oxide capacitance width by length of that multiplied by vgs minus vtn threshold okay into vds minus vds square by 2 just try to remember this formula and this formula and this formula and this formula at any cost you need to remember because if you remember this set of formulas p type is very simple same xerox copy of it okay next if it is operating in saturation vgs must be greater than vtn of course because if it is not valid then it will go into cut off i already told then what is what makes the difference between linear and saturation is just exactly the inequality sign changes vds if it is greater than or equal to vgs minus vtn then you can conclude it as saturation fine now in this case the current equation is this where half into mu n cox w by l multiplied with vgs minus vtn whole square 1 plus lambda into vds what is lambda lambda is nothing but channel length modulation parameter channel length modulation parameter if it is not given in the question if it channel length modulation is not given in the question take it as zero okay if you take lambda as zero then this term will not be there yes or no yes so one plus zero anything is one one into anything is zero so try just you can neg if channel length modulation is not given you can neglect this the term which is in this bracket you can simply remove that erase that okay fine now after doing this okay you'll remember the formulas whereas i want to just explain p type one step just if it is v v g s here it will become v s g just reverse okay and threshold value will be modulus everywhere in p type everywhere whatever the voltage if you take v d s here it becomes v s d everything is same except that they'll change the suffixes they'll interchange i mean the suffix first uh, suffix uh, it will become reverse okay if it is vds drain to source for uh, same drain to source current it becomes v uh, i sorry ist ids will become ist exactly same you can check you can cross check by taking screenshot you can check this later fine now in our question it is given kn kn is nothing but conduction parameter i already told it is nothing but half mu n cox w by l this this parameter is called kn so what it becomes here kn by 2 here it becomes kn by 2 if you replace this complete one because this itself is nothing but uh, 2 times kn sorry it becomes 2 times kn okay this becomes kn fine so this is the thing which i want to discuss about kn fine now you may feel this is very very difficult this conditions checking all those things right now i'll make you uh, as i already told i'll tell some sh uh, some technique or shortcut by which you can easily remember these things okay just give me one second first of all for any question what you need to do is you need to compute a parameter i'm telling easily which region of operation is operating you can find easily okay listen to me for just 30 seconds you can finish this how to find the region of operation in a shortcut way okay so first whenever any question is given first compute for n, uh, n channel mosfet i'm telling vgs minus vtn you compute at any cost you compute first this parameter okay okay assume that you have computed you got some value suppose if it is less than zero by fate if it is less than zero then simply conclude that id is zero that's what same thing right vds less than vtn the first case id is zero i'm bringing this simply this side okay vgs if it is less than vtn if it is first compute this parameter everywhere i was telling if it is less than zero conclude current is zero if suppose if it is greater than or equal to zero then conclude that the region of operation can be either linear or it can be saturated then how can you shuffle again once again between linear and saturated it's again once again simple you already calculated vgs minus vtn right same only one thing you need to calculate that's it no just after that you need to do comparison that's it so if it is greater than or equal to zero it can be linear or saturated so how to conclude is linear or saturated now comes something known as vds 
if vds if it is less than this whatever the parameter you calculated whatever the parameter you calculate if it is less than this suppose if it is 5 vds is given 3 then conclude that it is in linear if it is less than vds is less than vgs minus vt conclude it is linear if vds is greater than vgs minus vt suppose in the question vgs is given if this computed value is 5 if it is given in the question as 10 volts then conclude that this is in saturation so simple technique just calculate vgs minus vt if if it is less than zero conclude it as saturation okay if it is greater than zero two regions can be possible linear or saturated in linear region vds is less than this computed value in saturation region vds is greater than this calculated value you can check cross check the table same things what have i explained it will be there in this table fine now let us come back to our question fine extension we have finished let us come back to our question vgs is given vtn is given what is our first step we need to calculate vgs minus vt first step i already told what is vgs 1.5 1.5 minus 0.75 1.5 minus 0.75 so how much you are going to get is you're going to get 0.75 which is absolutely greater than or equal to zero yes or no it's greater than zero not equal to zero greater than zero so it can be linear or it can be saturated here the information about vds is not given you can uh, check the question once again the information about vds is not given fine so if vds is not given because the you may tell like i can use this or this but in this it involves vds yes or no the linear region current equation involves vds you cannot you can never find if nothing if something is not known how can you substitute can you substitute 10 uh, 10 volts you cannot do that so simply conclude that the information is missing the conclude that region of operation is saturation because here it is independent of vds half into mu and cox w by l vgs minus vt and whole square the lambda is not given so you can neglect this term okay so simply you need to calculate i already told half into mu and cox w by l is nothing but it is nothing but kn so formula is kn vgs minus vt whole square so same formula i have used kn vgs minus vt whole square kn is given as 0 0.249 to 10 power minus 3 vgs minus vt is 1.5 minus 0 0.5 it is nothing but 0 0.75 whole square so if you simplify you are going to get 0.14 milli amperes so the right choice is option c so if you can remember the formulas of current equation of mosfet n channel and p channel especially n channel linear region cutoff region saturation region these formulas you can do any question based on this i hope you already taken the screenshot here it is clumsy um, when i explained it during starting i mean starting of this video it is clear you can take the screenshot at that point or you can note down in your notes so in this way you can calculate current of any any mosfet okay based on the region of operation everything will be given in the question fine so any comments please give in your comment box and if you like the video please like and subscribe the video thank you